Okay, so, sensor. Cover your kids' ears and eyes. I'm only kidding. Definitely cover their eyes, though. You're about to see some crack. Um, this is actually a video from last week, Tuesday and Friday. So it's a combo deal of um, my dry needling and then my workout. Crack kills, by the way. Ugh, I'm really trying to show you the the dry needle. Ugh. So gross. I'm only kidding. It doesn't hurt. It hurt when he was jamming them in me. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, it's so hard to lift my arm. Oh my god, it's shaking. Okay, guys, here we go. So, um, I, uh, this is the workout from Friday, which is my first leg day in about two weeks, uh, but my first leg day since getting out of the hospital. So, um, you, what I didn't show in the video was the whole beginning part. Um, we just did the box squats with nothing, no barbell, no nothing. Uh, and basically what they're doing is they're retraining me on how to squat to involve all muscles. So, um, and to make sure that my lower back is not engaging in this. Um, I'm making sure that um, my chest is staying up, that um, I'm not, and if you've ever watched any of my videos, like I really try to make it a point to never have anybody ever say, oh, she gypped range of motion, or she didn't squat all the way down, or she didn't, you know, let her arms go all the way straight, or just anything. Like, I don't ever want, and I also want to perform everything as best as I possibly can. But, technically, if, now that I'm actually paying a lot more attention since this injury, if you ever watch the way that I squat, I squat, what do they call it? Booty to grass, but they obviously call it something else. Um... I don't need to do that for any, like, specific sport. I can still target the muscles that I want to target, like, mainly quads, uh, but I also do need to get the hamstrings and glutes involved so it's not just quads and lower back. Um, I also need to learn, needed to learn how to hold the bar a little bit better. Uh, the higher it is, which mine wasn't super high. I had it sitting on the traps or the meaty part of my shoulders, uh, my, my neck. Um, so they just lowered it just a little bit. So the higher it is, the further away it is, and the more you'll kind of drop your chest. Um, so they're basically just retraining my mechanics. And again, if you ever watch any of my old posts you'll or old videos, when I do get all the way to the bottom, you can kind of see my hip tuck under. Like, it's just, it's very small, and you have to really pay attention to the details. But that right there is, like, my spine, and I don't need to do that. I don't need to get that low. Technically, I'm trying to get my quads bigger, but I'm also trying to keep my hamstrings strong, trying to get my hamstrings bigger, the bigger that they are, and my glutes. The bigger that they are, the bigger my legs will look. So... Uh, this is 185, um, and just so you know, also doing the box squats, all they wanted, they wanted me to get to parallel, which basically that's really all that you need in building strength and building hypertrophy also. Uh, today we're, we're more about building strength, so we're doing a lot of things, just reps of five, um, besides the hyperextensions, I did sets of like 10 and 12, um, and everything is just about like, I mean, literally doing those five, I'm beyond out of breath, because every single muscle on my body is being fired, and I'm not sitting down, I'm literally squatting, like, I did mute what they were saying, and over here, I'm, like, really paying attention to detail. See, he's telling me, don't sit down like that, that I'm just tapping it and hovering over it, but still keeping all the tension. So, we did about two sets with just the barbell, one set with the 25s, two sets with the 45s, and we did two sets uh, with 185 here, but she was really blocking, um, so I didn't show it, but I did do two sets. Um, so, and I did use my weight belt, which I actually do have a, um, 
a legit powerlifting belt when I was going to powerlift. And, uh, but I left that at the studio. So I had my other one, which is an iron fitness belt, which I really do love. Um, then we went over and it's a hack squat, but I forgot what he called it. So super wide stance, again, trying to get the glutes and the hamstrings involved a little bit more, still keep the quads. I mean, they made a comment that my quads are massive and I'm, I'm like, I guess I have that small man complex where I'm like, I totally don't see that. I want to get them so much bigger. So we did two plates, three plates. And then he even said like, we could probably do four plates today, but we don't want, it's your first day since getting out of the hospital. We don't want to push it. Like we'll push it next, next time we're going to do legs, which is actually going to be tomorrow. But I think I'm not going to release this until after. So right now I'm voice recording and editing this video on Monday. This workout was Friday. So today it's Monday the 13th. So um, over here now we're getting like a spotter. So I have Andrea. She is uh, my chiropractor slash, you know, therapist. And then Ted, who's the owner of the gym, um, who's also a physical therapist. And then uh, that's one of the members. And I got introduced to her and for the life for me. I can't remember what her name is. And she was spotting as Andrea was standing on the other side, like kind of like watching me. And then Ted was also spotting. So, um, it's just, I, it just feels really good to like come back and come back the way that I'm coming back. So, so I'm just really excited to document this. Um, it was my first leg day back. Um, and we did end up finishing with wider foot position, probably about five sets of reverse hyperextension. So going with the wider foot position, it's a little bit harder. So I hope you guys like this. I hope you're following this. So like the video, share it, subscribe, do whatever you need to do, but show some love. Um, and I will talk